all right sorry about that everybody we're back in it um i had to restart my whole pc my it was it had got to the point my pc didn't even want to restart but um you know we we fixed it up so we're gonna see what happened i doubt it saved anything knowing my luck with this game is not the best so we're gonna see if it saved anything Just about how long it's taking the game to load, I'm already not too sure how this is going to work out, but we're going to see what happens. Hopefully everything works out in the end and it loads up perfectly fine, but I doubt it. So we're going to see what happens. Well, in the end, that's just a great ex explanation of why you should always save your game. Because you never know what could happen. And that was basically a great example to all of y'all. So if you ever play this game, please constantly save it. Because if you don't, oof, you're going to be hurt if that thing just randomly decides to just lock up on you. See, the thing is with trains, instead of the game just crashing it'll freeze and screw up your whole entire computer which is, is so just agitated i mean you would think how old this game is at this point you think they would fix little stuff like that but they don't uh, i don't know why when we try to tell them about it they just they be like um yeah, well it's because the version you're using dog i've been using the same version since well i've been y'all been saying that since i had tame your lord's sake but you know uh oh, the music just went off. You know what that means? It's about to load. Either all of it is gonna be gone, or everything's gonna be there except the containers, which I will be greatly happy. Seems like the game's having a little bit of issues trying to load up. We've been loaded for five minutes now. She was not a good sign, so. Not too excited.
all right back in um oof i don't think it's saved at all it didn't but it corrupted it ah man it saved it but it didn't oh 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 yes it did let's go look at that it saved it that is great man look at the game being nice to me uh but these do look like corrupted baseboards i don't know why it's not actually corrupted man but see it's showing that it's perfectly fine though which is confusing but uh both ways i'm gonna save the game right quick so yeah it's acting like it saved the game i'm kind of confused it's if it saved it or not but you know it's showing that the baseboards are corrupted though so it's a little like confusing so i'm trying to figure out baseboards but these baseboards were definitely corrupt I'm not even gonna lie the loading up so we're gonna see what happens we're definitely gonna see what happens in there
right, let's see what happened. They're still showing up as white. Um, which back then, white would usually mean that the baseboards are corrupt, but they look fine to me. And I'm curious, right quick, what if I place? I guess they're just gonna forever be white. They're gonna be special baseboards or something. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they look fine to me. In the end, it looks perfectly normal, so. Other than, you know, the fact that it has that little issue right there. But, hey, I guess they're white now. <laughs> um, we're going to go to the other animal terminal here on the route, uh, which is the MLC one. And I'm actually going to steal some of the containers off of this route as well. Like so, we're going to um, uncopy all of that. We're going to get this. We're going to go over here, there, and boom. So we got that all figured out. So let's go back over to our fake corrupted baseboards, I guess. Watch me load into this route one day and then just all the baseboards are corrupted. I'm gonna be like, nah, I should have known better. All right, so we're just gonna put a long line of just stacked up containers over here. All different types, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. So we got some containers over there and then we're gonna get our other um, thing of um, containers and put these over here. Um, now we're gonna put these over here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Surveyor 2.0 really quickly and we're gonna rotate all of these around so I can be able to place them back down. So we'll go ahead and get that out the way real quick. Oh, now froze. No way I'm back to back L's on this game. That's gonna be hilarious. There we go. I was gonna say, man, back to back is crazy. So we're gonna get it and script failure, whatever that means. Um, Yep, that's fine. Go back to Survey Classic class. After we get back in the Survey Classic, we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste these pasteboards down. Like so. Then we're gonna go over here. And we're going to just let the game freeze again. And then shoot, to be honest, it really don't even make no difference, to be honest. I'll do something like this. This is gonna look stupid, but you know. Oh no, me, I just make stuff work out. Alright, so we're gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna come over here. We'll have a whole another container lot over here. In real life, it's not like this, but you know, I'm just kind of free balling in there. All right, cool. I'm gonna delete those excess containers and then, yep, perfect. 
So, I mean, it doesn't look like the exact yard at all, but you know, you can kind of get what I was going at or getting at, sort of. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our strato crane, or strato can't talk, strato cane, strato crane. I can't, I can't even talk. My God, I'm over here trying to stay straddle. Man, there it is, straddle. All right, so we're gonna put one there, there. We'll put one here, one here. We'll do one here, one here, and one, and then one. Cool. So this Marion Intermodal Facility is actually only gonna have two trains. Um, well, well, technically six or eight. <laughs> um, I, I gotta decide how many trains I'm gonna have coming inside of Marion. Uh, it won't be the biggest number though, but it will be a decent amount. I do know that for sure. Yeah, all right, so there we go. We got all that done. I'm gonna go down here and get the JR Ballast. Um, after we get the JR ballast, I'm gonna just go ahead and just start slapping that stuff down. Um, if I can find the right one. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just do this little trick. But you go here. You can do this if you wanna like put texture under any spline points. So you do it, we're gonna make it go down a little bit and we're gonna just do in current section only. We're gonna press begin and it automatically balances the area for you. So real life saver, real time saver, you know. So we'll go ahead and just balance all of this up, make it easy on us, save us some time. Boom. All right, so I mean, it looks half decent. I'm gonna load up Google Earth. Um, again, right here, uh, Google Earth, my favorite program. I can be on Google Earth all day, honestly. Let's go to Mary in Arkansas. And I'm gonna look back over here at Mary and we're gonna just do a little bit of research again. All right, so, you know, the yard looks as decent it, as it's gonna get for now. I'm gonna just add like a little bit of touch up stuff here and there, nothing too crazy to be honest. Um, and from there, we're gonna be basically done. And now I'm gonna just play some grass and then we'll place the adjacent highway. And you know, we're really gonna be chilling after that. Like being honest, we really are. And we're just gonna be placing down track, flatland, you know, the basic stuff, the good old stuff, you know. Um, trying to go ahead and get that before. Um, yep, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get it. Put you there. And then we're gonna come over here. Uh oh, road won't straighten up. There we go. So that's about right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. J I'm gonna add this JR Road asset um, that actually leads to the little fueling terminal they actually have over here so oh did it fix the little no not yet i think it actually fixes it when you like replace the texture or something that's what it looks like <laughs> yeah actually that's what i'm gonna try and see if it works um anyways back on track so there's actually like a a little terminal over here to where they fuel the locomotives up and stuff so I was thinking I'm gonna just make this up over here. It's nothing too crazy. It's just like a little section of track. It's about like two, tr four tracks just to fuel up the engines and stuff. So um, that's what I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add, come over here to fueling 
pad. These are the best feeling pad assets in my opinion. So boom, boom, and then boom, boom, boom. Let's go over here. So after we get the fuel and terminal done, it goes to two tracks just for a little bit, and then it singles out back into a, um, a single track. So. All right, so we got that done. We're gonna come over here and get this done. So that's done right there. So I'm actually gonna extend it out just a little bit more and I'm gonna delete this section right here. And we're gonna extend our tracks out just slightly more, just so the distance can be a little bit more realistic. And then I'm actually gonna add our point right here. Yeah. And then in real life, we there's a little crew office over here so we're gonna add the crew office instead of bnsf crew office yeah that's not gonna happen um yeah we'll just do a basic little crew office right here um we're gonna get our road actually connect it turns into like more of a dirt um, dirt path so we're gonna turn it into oh incompatible spot that's unfortunate turn it into a dirt path and then down here there's actually a road crossing so all right we're doing no passing lane just like how it is So this road just keeps on going for miles and miles. Low key, if I could, I would do the HP trains crossing, but it's just they're too far apart. Way too far apart. Let's see. I did like a four track one, which I don't really want to do a four track one. So now I could do this. This would be pretty cool to do. It's not like this in real life, of course, but you know, I'm trying to improvise so I can at least have crossing gates. And since 
on mega root uh, normal gates really don't work when you merge a root so try to restrain from doing the said thing So what we're gonna do with this track right here is I'm actually just gonna keep it going like so. And then it's actually gonna feed out to both of the tracks. So it's more of a just like a, you know, a staging track, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do it for. Like a little staging track. Um, I'm gonna straighten this up just so it looks a little bit more clean. And then I'm going to have it go into right here. Yep. Looks fine to me, actually. All right. I'm going to look at it in real life really quickly. Yeah. Let's see. It's just open road. That's literally all it is. It's just open road. Got some farmland, of course. Um, other than that, that's really it. I really low key want to turn this into like a little rail fan spot, which I actually can. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these switches over here. And once I get these switches done, we're gonna turn that into a more just like a spot you would probably want to rail fan in get off work tired or whatever just want to go see some trains come out the yard that's where you can go so that's why i'm gonna set that up as i'm gonna forget a switch somewhere and it's gonna piss me off one day i already know it's gonna piss me off quite badly Boom, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I already did that apparently, cool. All right, so, um, as I said last time, be sure to always save your game nowadays because man, you don't know what's gonna happen, so. Oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry to everyone. I have not been able to see the live chat it's been screwing up for me i'm so sorry i was wondering i was like i see people joining and stuff but i don't see no like text messages um anyways oh what's up tristan hello wit simulations what's up um janelle thomas say mr or mrs thomas what's up trackside isaiah uh what's good mr x um what's up mario yoshi any advice for finding inspiration for trains i've been really feeling creatively drained recently i play train surveyor and it has been hard for me shoot man what do i use for motivation for this game man i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i watch rail fan videos be like you know what yeah i'm gonna build this place <laughs> i just that that's just me but you know, you can find your own ways to just get your own inspiration for this game and all, and never push yourself on this game. Never just like play this game to the point where you're gonna just like lose your sanity and you don't have like, you know, no inspiration to build at all. So just go like, just find something you wanna build. Like even if you can go rail fan in real life, build like something like, I see th the thing is with Mega Root and whatever, it's just, see, I always have inspiration to build on Mega Root because Mega Root is basically endless. Like when I see a train in real life, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I want to run the entire operation of this train inside of a game. And what I mean by that is talking about the train, the, let's say a single rail car starting off from a processing plant. Well, well, basically let's just say that you're starting off from a place where you get raw materials and then a local comes and pick up that car, takes it to a yard, it gets built into a manifest train, and then it goes to another part of the map. It then gets, you know, it may 
the whole train may get broken apart. It may get put onto another train to go to another place or a local may pick up, pick up that car and then take it to a manufacturing plant where they'll turn it into a certain product. Then the train will come back, pick up the car, take it back to the yard and then ship to the consumer. I, that's how I just been playing this game. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, I've been taking it very unrealistically, but you know, it's just, it's just a way I've had a lot of fun doing it. So, you know, I'm not, it's, that, that's the only way I just keep motivation for this game, basically. I just keep on being able to push and just keep on going and just, you know, in the end, it just is very fun to play out. Like, I'll show y'all some operations on this route. I actually did a stream yesterday showing y'all some of the operations. We were running an intermodal train and a grain train across the route last night. Both of them derailed because I had switches that were just completely screwed up. So that kind of just went completely down the drain so you know that just it didn't work out in the end but yeah um for me it's number one driving session i can't find i see see for me i i literally just act be like you know what i don't push myself with this game i'll just randomly come up with like you know an idea of what to do or what i can add to this game and then just go on from there so it's more of just like you know <laughs> more of just find your own inspiration into what makes you enjoy playing this game a lot so that's what i've been doing and it's been working recently but i have a feeling it won't work for much longer because this game has been getting stressful as y'all may have seen in the earlier stream the game just randomly decided that, you know what nah let me just freeze up and then you know the game it seized up and i said you know what well it probably goes all my work but thank the lord i loaded back in and was perfectly fine it was perfectly fine so you know in the end it all worked out for me for once <laughs> but uh yeah you know right now we're just waiting for the, the game to get done saving up after the game is done saving up we're gonna get right back to it So sorry I did not see y'all messages, man. Um, oh, game loaded. Shoot, I'm over here looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Good God, I was looking at the um, the screen. I was watching the loading screen. I was like, Psh, I didn't even know the game had fully loaded. All right, so I'm gonna come over here real quick, and I'm gonna turn this into like a little area. As, as let me just go ahead and state again, I'm not a good builder whatsoever. So this may look complete garbo, or it may look decent. I don't really know. We're we're gonna we're gonna see though. We're gonna see. All right. So the first thing I automatically see is that there are two safe trans signals right here. Um, no, we're not gonna put you there. I'm gonna put this one right here and then we're gonna put the other one uh right oh wait nope i need you to go to the other side yep right there so we got two safe turn signals right there perfectly fine right there um there's some power lines i see almost everywhere um yeah so i'm gonna just type in the jr power lines out that'll, that'll work to power I just need some um, basic JR power lines. Let me get this set up. Uh oh. That's going to be a slight issue. What if we add a spline point right there? Nope, it doesn't work for once. Yep, that works right there. So it continues on going down the road and then also for another reason it goes it follows this down here to the plant not the plant the um crew office so after we get that done um going towards here it just seems like it's just a little bit of trees a lot of flat land um you got some houses yeah all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first thing that needs to be done. I just can't stand this PBR grass. It's just, just, I don't hate it. It's just, 
I think I just see it so much I'm getting tired of it because of what my game is set to. Um, yeah, this grass actually looks pretty fine. Current section only. Yeah, that gives me more of the flat land vibe. All right, cool. That's pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just, nope, nope, that don't look good at all. Um, we're going to rotate it and we're just gonna mix in some other shades of grass. Like so, come over here. Zero. The pine hill grass has to sell up. Alright. Um, we're gonna come over here to the actually I'm gonna just try to make this very low poly. So I'm gonna use the TB grass right here. Basic but great grass, and I highly recommend it. It's not it doesn't hurt your PC, it doesn't try to kill mines at least but um yeah it's pretty good grass let's so we'll put some of that down just to add a little bit more depth depth or depth whatever to our scene um people ask me why don't i just use turf fix because I, I just don't like how turf fix works like you have to be extremely close and then from far away it lags your game so i'd be like eh, it's not worth it so I'm gonna put like some little divots in right here. Cause there's like, you know, just a little bit of water just poking out. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. So there's a little bit of water, like little puddles and yeah, like that. So I'm gonna put some more down here. like rainfall or whatever. All right, yeah, that's already giving me a better vibe for it. All right, now I'm gonna use the TB Forest um, basic bush splines right here. Um, yep, that's fine, that's, that's the shop. So we got the little basic TB Forest bush spline doing this job and now I need like the more skinnier um, spline yep right here add a little bit right here all right yeah I'm starting to already like that a lot um, so over here is more of just flat land and then right by the depot there's a lot of just normal tv um not tv forest but there's just a lot of forestry so as i say i'm just making it low poly because i won't be in this area too much so i'm just trying to make it at least a little bit decent you know what i'm saying just a little bit decent sure i don't even run the personally i don't even run the facebook group mike or um Jaden, one, one of them, they control the Facebook group. I don't be on Facebook that much. All right, so that's cool right there. Yep, that's decent enough. Um, there's more of like a farm flatland type thing going on right here it's not even a farm it just look like farm land or if you know what i'm saying so i'm just put put it like right here yeah works for me <laughs> um go over here to the jr um yep textures right here we go ahead and put you here here uh, in the current section only because if I don't it will kill my game yep that works there all right cool 
So that's set up now a little bit better. Just sticks out a little bit more. It looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, I like the vibe it's giving off. It's more of a, not more of a chill, seclusive vibe. As I stated earlier, there's like some houses over here or something, but they're like the backs of the houses. So I'm gonna do the JR house assets. I forgot what they're actually called. They're like JR something. Um, I don't even know, to be honest. JR what? What are they called? JR, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like JR house or, see, so yeah, there's JR car garage. Um, now I'm having issues because I can't even find it. Rock light, radio tower, propane. Oop. Old house, no beams. We put like an older abandoned house right there. Why not? I cannot find what I'm looking for. Wow, 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 wow. Why would you look at that? Every time I look, I try. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. That's what you can kind of see. You can like kind of see the backs of some houses. But they're more farther off. I'm actually going to put that random abandoned house right there. And we're going to put a white fence like yeah, there it is in, in the um, in real life. White fence. No, the same old, same old. All right. So there we go. It's just a little wooden white fence. I'm not really gonna be in this area anyway, so I'm just trying to kind of speed rush it. I'm saying, man, this is gonna not be a too hard area to build. Yeah, that's, that's decent enough. Yeah, it looks decent enough to me. I want it to comply. Yeah, that's nice. All right, I think it's decent enough. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go into the yard now and actually add a couple of uh, changes to certain things. All right, so back in the yard. Uh, do you know how to reset new JRG bills and ACEs? Yes, I do. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Um, I may or may not make a uh, tutorial on how to just do an updated reskin tutorial. But, um, yeah, I'll try my best sooner or later. Can't make no promises though. Alright, that's cool right there. I ain't gonna lie with y'all, I've been having too much fun building this intermodal terminal here in Marion.
I'll add another one over here. Nope, that's two. Mm -mm, that's way too steep of an area. Yep, that's about fine enough. Um, I'm gonna zoom out real quick and see if I can find any other things that stick out. Like, can you see the intermodal terminal from the freeway? Well, the highway, not really, if I'm being completely honest, not really. So I'm gonna be adding some bushes and trees to just you know, narrow it off. To be honest, I really could just have a lot of big bushes and call it from there. Yep. Put the bushes here, and we are gonna curve them around like so. And we're gonna get it again, and we're gonna put it right there. And we're gonna straighten it. And after we straighten it, we should be almost there. We go. We're gonna do the same thing with the trees, basically all over again. So here, here, here. That's perfect. Boom. All right, that looks pretty. putting idiot I don't know why I was putting grass right there um put some grass here you just want to get rid of that PBR texture really Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty decent, actually. I'm actually pretty proud of how Marion came out. All right, so Marion is um, about done, to be honest. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to get Marion to look like. So um, I'm going to call it there for Marion. Um, I think we're going to just start building off towards the other end, maybe, now. Because out of Marion... It goes really just through a bunch of freaking farmland. It's literally just farmland and cross bucks, so no country road, so country road take me home. 
all right off topic but um we do have to go through a city not really it's just a whole bunch of underpasses yeah so let me load up the cn system map again because this as i stated earlier the cn system map actually shows you all of um basically all the railroads in north america so quite helpful indeed okay so i'm looking at it now and basically the line that goes towards marion goes through places such as okay so it goes to bland knob bald knob so it goes a ball knob and then it takes a hard down turn to go towards little rock little rock then takes arcana takes arcana into um the line that goes into dallas meanwhile the other line just stretches off towards shreveport which is the line i really do need to be building um after that then the line just goes up to st louis so Meanwhile, the BNSF lines split off. One goes to St. Louis, one goes to Springfield, and then into um, Chirac. All right, cool. Um, I wish I could add Chirac to this route. I will be adding, uh, oh my God, my voice. Um, I will be adding some other stuff, but being honest, I may just do a whole bunch of off-screen building um, going towards Little Rock and whatever. So I'm going to just get a train. We're going to just run a train up um, into the yard real quick. Why not? Just release more pictures of the NS-9s. I'm ready for these. I'm not going to lie. So I can finally replace the JR ones. I really want them to come out with some dash shades, though. Alright. Well, back into it. Let's run our little first train into, ooh, hold up, we may need some wiggle room, so I'm going to add a little bit of, as I just said, wiggle room so we can fit a train through here. All right, let's get our train going. Um... Let's do the new, did I download the basic six files here? I sure did. I really want them to just do the normal shield logo though. These things look immaculate. My God, these are actually my first time finally looking at these. I need a really weather one like this one. Yeah, that one's nice. I may actually just do that one. Nope, never mind. That one's perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a giant upgrade. I ain't even gonna lie. So we're gonna do an AC6000. We'll do a um, we'll do an AC44. I'm actually gonna have the AC6000 lead. The AC44, and we'll do UP SD70H Heritage Unit. Which one? U1988. Do a preloaded one because I don't feel like loading one. Yep, 
up thus far. Alright, let's pull this train into the yard, man. First train into Marion, Arkansas. Games froze as usual, but you know, it usually takes a little bit of time so it can load in. And I've been teleported to across the map to the middle of nowhere. Ha! We're on the Wolf line. So not middle of nowhere, but kind of middle of nowhere. Uh, let's go and teleport to our train in Marion. Or I should, wait, hold on one second. That's weird. I can teleport to the BNSF train that derailed last night. You know why I can teleport to it? Because it didn't delete itself. It's still alive. So um, with it being still alive, I'm actually here to see if I can bring it back to life. If it freaking loads. It's probably up. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is right there. What did it run into? Oh. Youch. <laughs> eh, well, I'll fix it later. Alright. Anyways, here we go. And Marion we go. Get this train into the yard. Ars 3L. Come on now. Not art. These things sound beautiful, I ain't gonna lie. I like the bell. This cab is grotty. I love it. <laughs> See how this thing's pulled. Oh, you can see the old number. What was it? 75. Oh, this is fire. Oh, you can see the old number. Man, these things look awful. In a good way, though. Like, like they look old. They look not like they were taken care of. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this power set from here. This power set more than likely will stay on Megaru now. His next job will probably be taking a train to New Orleans or something. It may take a WNA train to New Orleans. I don't know, depending if I do an interchange. Well, yeah, this is interchange traffic, so it probably will. Let's go ahead and get our first train into the yard um, here in good old Marion. Since this is interchange traffic, we're just gonna go into the far lead track. I told you, man, Armand's been killing it recently, man. I need them to come out with some dash shakes, though. I ain't gonna lie. I desperately need them to come out with dash shakes. Like, not uh, B40 dash shakes and stuff, but like dash shakes, dash shakes.
God. All this traffic, man. Good God. There's this Greyhound bus going to. They're going to Reno. Got a long way to go. I wish I could sit inside the bus. That'd be kind of cool. They got a whole interior and everything. It's kind of cool how we're watching the train from the inside of a bus. <laughs> Here comes Trafagetting, because this is going to be insane how much traffic our gate's going to go up. There we go. All this traffic, good God, man. Oh, our roof is missing. It's like our whole cab is missing. Wait, is this actually how it's gonna be? Or is it just not loading in? Well, some way I cooked the cab. I don't know how I cooked the cab, but it's cooked, so. And just like that, we have ran our first train into Marion. First of more than likely many. Or none at all. <laughs> yeah, these new eight are buys. A6,000 are something else, man. Gotta give it to them. They're beautiful. Other than my cab just completely cooking itself. But other than that, they're fire. Anyways, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this Flame Rails live stream, man. I'm going to be able to, I should hopefully be able to bring y'all some more later on this week or shoot, even tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Sunday. I probably will be. Anyways, I love y'all guys. Y'all stay safe. Y'all keep 